Now, surprisingly, Leeuwenhoek's very simple microscope, which allowed much greater ma magnification, allowed him to see and describe uh, things that happen inside a cell. So he described bacteria um, that he found um, from scrapings from his mouth. And one of the things that he found was these little molecules or animalcules um, swam around in a solution. Uh, but if he sampled his mouth after having drunk a hot cup of coffee in the morning, they didn't swim around anymore. So these little um, animals were killed by his hot coffee. He really liked sampling um, from the environment around him. So he would take samples of pond water and describe many, um, many objects that he found swimming around in that water. And he also looked inside uh, algal cells and described a spiral green um, spring that was contained within the cell, which was a very good description of a chloroplast, which is where photosynthesis takes place inside algal cells. So the advantage of his type of microscope, which allowed much greater magnification, was that he could clearly see inside the cell and started to describe um, the processes that, that can occur inside the cell. Hi. In this section, we're going to talk about a replica of Leeuwenhoek's microscope um, that Zeiss Company manufactured as a commemoration of about 300 years since Leeuwenhoek um, actually published his work. So Brian Gunning, when he uh, got hold of this replica of Leeuwenhoek's microscope, decided to try and see what he could see through it. And he took the Tradescantia stamen hairs and mounted them. So here we have the microscope and um, there's a spike that um, is protruding and that's what you impale your specimen on and this little lever here allows you to rotate the specimen uh, around relative to the position of the lens. We have a long screw here with a turning handle that raises and lowers the specimen relative to the lens and finally we have a third adjusting screw here which moves the specimen towards and away from the lens so that you can get get the specimen exactly in focus. So if you look at the uh, microscope from the other side, you can see the little circular bead of glass, which is the lens. Now the secret or the reason why Leeuwenhoek's microscope was so effective was that tiny bead of glass has a much greater magnification property than the larger lenses that Hook used in his illustrations. So the idea is we have our specimen that's mounted on the little hook. Just have to get that position correctly. And then you would hold the microscope up to your eye with a source of light uh, behind the specimen. So the light's coming through the specimen and you're looking at it through the lens. And this is really cool because it's quite tricky to see through it, but what you can see is this little bead of blue balls um, joined end to end, um, which is the stamen hair. Now, I'm not an expert in using this microscope, so we're gonna to turn to Brian Gunning's superb video footage, which he took. And this is an experiment that we normally run in our first year um, biology labs. So we have here a plant, which is, um, have these beautiful blue flowers and the stamen hairs, which are naturally coloured blue, can be mounted and observed. Normally we use a, a compound microscope, but Brian Gunning managed to mount these and view them through Leeuwenhoek's microscope and take a video. So what's special about these cells is firstly, they're filled with a big blue sac, um, which is the vacuole. And the natural blue dye in it allows you to see much more clearly inside the specimen without having to um, apply stains. And the, the tissue is only one cell thick, so you don't have to prepare, you don't have to section. You just mount the single stamen hair uh, to be able to look into a cell. And as you peer inside the cell, you can see little particles as if they're like cars moving along a highway, um, streaming along, um, moving around the cell. And this is called cytoplasmic streaming. Now, second specimen that we also use are giant algal cells. Now, these single cells can be as large as um, several centimetres long. And these make wonderful specimens to also look um, through the microscope. And here is an example that um, Brian Gunning also photographed using Leeuwenhoek's replica microscope. 
what you can see are the spiral arrangement of chloroplasts on the surface of the cell. And if we focus deeper into the cell behind the layer of chloroplasts, once again you can see these balls or globules of material being shuttled along through the cell. Again, the cytoplasmic streaming.